are some issues that have been coming up newspapers and TV stations radio stations have been making a lot of noise about issues concerning pastors the church and the community as a whole today we are fortunate to have a sister who is so also worried about some of the issues pertaining the church the leadership of the church and the community as a whole I will give her the chance to mention her name so she is in the studio with us and we also have our own apostle apostle Emmanuel who is also here with us it is true apostle that we got connected with um, our sister so they are here with us and we will have a short discussion but basically the most important part of the discussion will be the inputs and the, the suggestions from our sister Bridget Bridget you are welcome yeah, thank you so much all right brother Emma, you are welcome thank you Bridget um, before we begin, can you tell us your full name? Did I get it correctly? Is it Bridget Breyer? Is it correct? Okay, in a German way, it's called Birgit Breyer. Okay, mm -hmm. so... You are of course allowed to, to call me Bridget. Okay. It's easier for you. Okay. All right, so Bridget, um, that brings us to the next question. I wanted to ask you where you are from, but I think you said German. Yes. Sir. Are you a German? Okay, so can you tell us a little bit of yourself? Yes, um, I was born in 1967. <laughs> I, I know, uh, I'm looking at the light. Um, yes, I have two children. Okay, so currently? No, currently, no, I, 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 I was like really resigned because it was uh, the first the first year I was uh, um, working for a company. Uh, and I had my own money and I decided not to spend the money uh, to the Catholic Church. I decided to spend the money directly to the poor. To the poor. To the so, um, in, in a way you are a philanthropist? Are you a philanthropist? You try to assist the poor, you help the poor? Yes, it's, it's, it's not about an organization. I okay. did that private. It was also about a church. They did the contact, but I have private contacts directly. What were you doing before you started this um, initiative of helping the poor? Sorry? What, what have you been doing with your life? Oh, uh, you see, I headed to school normally. Uh, after school, I headed to IBM. IBM IBM. So you worked with IBM. Yes. What, what, what was your role in IBM? Oh, I started as secretary. Okay. Um, then later I decided to do something else. Uh, it was boring for me. <laughs> so now currently, are you still with IBM or you've resigned? No, I resigned. You resigned. In 2010. 2010. Uh, yes. At the, the last 10 years, I was an IT service. Like, so how did you get connected to Ghana, if I may ask? Yes, it was uh, in 2000. 14 or 13, 13, 14, it was about a uh, Zumba teacher, it was about dancing. Um, Zumla. Zumba. 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 Okay, it's a dance. Okay. Dance. Yes. Okay. And, uh, uh, I was with an Ghana in, in Unterschleiser. And uh, yes, I liked the Zumba dance. And I was heading to this course, to this courses. Okay. So in the evening I was dancing. Not every evening, but two, two times a week. Okay. And so we got in contact and he took me the first time to Ghana. Okay. Alright. What what made you feel like um, you should help Ghana? Oh, uh, it's a general feeling I have all the time, not only about Ghana. Uh, yes, to to do better. Uh, to have do you see problems in Ghana that you think uh, yes. needs to be addressed? Is that the reason yes. why you decided to get connected to Ghana? No, it was not the reason because it's like, you see, 2014 I headed out of the airplane directly to the soil of Ghana and I was feeling I'm home. It was you like you felt as I was home. You I felt was, at home when you came to Ghana. Yes, I was like it was a feeling like oh this is my homeland. <laughs> All right. Like this. Yes. I can't explain why. Why I don't. Know. You don't need to explain. I don't know. Yes, you don't need to explain. Okay. Um, the reason why we are having this interview is because you seem to have identified some problems with the church. Is it with the Catholic Church or with the entire church? It's with, okay, I can't say it's with the entire church. Because with the entire church? Yeah, I can't say it's with the entire church because I also found out, I was with the Mormons already two years ago, it was, I was okay with them. 
their mom was? Yes. I'm okay with the Jehovah Witnesses, even when I'm not Jehovah Witness, and mm -hmm. even I don't propagate this. Uh, but there are some some churches, the most are headed to the United States of America or to the United Kingdom, to get the corrupt and all this. Um, and I thought this is like a money temple. This is like a money temple for me because they have their goals, well, they have their big banners uh, about goals, about uh, we are collecting money, it's this amount in the Hold on. We have to do that. Where, where did you get that? Where did you get that idea? I saw it. Where? In every church. Every church? Coast. Have you been entering the churches? I was, you see, I'm heading every Sunday to minimum two to three churches. Every Sunday you go to two or three I churches? I'm going I'm going to churches and uh, I'm going into, I want to praise the Lord and when they start like uh, we are collecting and giving us 500 dollars a year or 200 dollars a year or 100 dollars a year, I'm leaving the place. And when they ask me uh, at the gate, why are you leaving? They said, you, are, you have a money temple. This is not to praise the Lord. You see, this is not the gospel. So I'm leaving. <laughs> so currently, uh, if I understand you, the problem you are having is the fact that the churches take money. Yes, not, not only that they take money. Uh, it's how they take the money, how they manipulate women. It's all about women. About okay, um, uh, give me a minute. Apostle. Uh, Bridget is saying something, the churches have been taking money and uh, she's got a problem with that. She believes, she, as she calls it, some of the churches are money temples. <laughs> so Apostle, uh, do we have money temples? No, I don't think we have money temples. What do we have then? No, we have the church. We have church. church. And the churches are taking money and it's carrying Bridget. It's a money temple now. What I want you to know is, though I may share some of these people, like I have um, uh, I do accept what she is saying. But in other ways, money is the will of the gospel. Money is the will of the gospel. I'm coming. No, it's okay. I can see she's shaking her head. <laughs> but the way a man, they take the money from the poor. That's where it makes it wrong. Wow. You can take the check, the money from the, the congregation based upon maybe church activities. Want to build. That, that, hold on, that, that takes me to a question I wanted to ask. I don't know who much you direct this question to. But let me ask Bridget first. Bridget, do you agree that we should be taking money, any form of money, at all in the church? Uh, not in this way. Which way are you talking about? But my, my question is, mm -hmm. do you agree, do you, do you agree that money should be taken in the church in the first place? No, not in the first place. Never. There, there shouldn't be. No. any form of money acceptance in the church? Uh, of course, but not in this way and not in the first place. Hold on, I, I want us to be clear on certain things. We have, I, I think we have different ways of uh, receiving monies in the church. The first one is offering. We have offering. Every church takes offering. Most of the churches take offerings. And then we also have, um, I, I may say that the offering and it's another form of sacrifice where you sacrifice money. Uh -huh. Well, actually, you see, in the olden days, you could be offering or sacrificing your valuables like your sheep or your cattle or yeah, your I goods mean, or something. Yeah, and then, the yes, and then also there is another way which is seed sowing. Seed sowing. You sow seed in a form of money into the ministry that is seed sowing that is also another form of money uh, the church acceptance of money or the church mode of taking money so it's three times seed sowing we also have tight mm -hmm. tight so as a christian you have to be tight in the tent like this yes but it's all just well, actually, we will come to that. Yeah. So, the way you are saying it means that you think it shouldn't be practiced now, right? Because it is a thing of the past. Yes. Okay, we will come to that. So, we have the tithing, we have uh, the 
seed sowing, we have the offering. And then apart from that, we, we may also have other forms of money. So let me ask Apostle, do we have any other forms of um, um, money uh, offering that we, we can talk about apart from the main offering, the tithes and the seed sowing? Is there any other form? We have free will offering. Free will offering. We also have the free will offering where you come out of your own heart to give something to the church. And then we have the seed sowing where you it's also another form of free will offering where you decide that I have this that I want to put into the ministry in the form of seed to support the ministry. Now in your in your own view, which of them should be practiced in the church and which of them do you think is not good? There's only one one of them is to be practiced. Which one is that? The free will offering. Okay, and this has to be announced in from the very first beginning, from the service, it has to be announced what is the money for, maybe for a project, maybe for something in the church to renovate. You see, there are some stuff going on in the church, you need money too, but the main money has not to come from the people from the community, especially in Ghana, because they are not this rich people. And I will tell you some stories later where the okay. money is coming really from. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I can see you've got, you, 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 have, you want to say something there. Yes. Apostle, uh, Bridges is saying that only the free will offering should be accepted in churches. Apostle, um, do you agree with that? Do you have any other view? No, you see. In the first place, let me ask you, Apostle, is that what you do in your church? Which one do you take? Okay, let me convert you to the King James Version for um, I read Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse mm -hmm. that there may be meat in my house. No, um, let, let's start it from eight that way. From eight. Yeah, from okay. Eight. Will a man rob God? Will a man rob God? Yes, you have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye have ye are cursed with a case. For ye have robbed me even with, with even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now with here with. Say yes, the Lord of hosts, if I will not open to you the windows of heaven and pour out and pour ye out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. So you can see that some people are saying that oh the old testament is not in use. Mm -hmm. We need not to use the old testament because we are what? we are in the new testament. But Jesus Christ came to fulfill what? The old testament. Yes. We understand me. Yes. So, I understand you. Yeah. So so offering is very, very essential in the house of God. You cannot come to the house of God with empty hand. We understand me. But when you come to the house of God and they are taking unlawful money, that's where I, I, I share my view with them. Um, Apostle, do you believe there is an, an, an unlawful money in the, yes, church, the house I of God? Which one is the unlawful money? You, 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 they, 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 there are certain money that they take which they don't tell the congregation that this is what we are going to use the money for. That makes it unlawful. That, 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 unlawful. that brings that brings Bridget's points back into the discussion. So does it mean that Bridget is right in saying that even the free will offering should be announced at the beginning of the offering that this is what we are taking it from? Sure. But, so, but, so, but mm -hmm. it is somehow, but the way she was saying, she only accept what? The free will offering. You are accepting yes. all the three. I'm accepting all the three. You are accepting the yes. tithe. You are tithe. accepting the offering. The you offering. are accepting the seed so The seed so yeah, we have fundraising. Fundraising. Yes, yes. we have fundraising. Fundraising. Where, where, which one is the fundraising again? Okay. That's, that's the, the, the fundraising. Let's let's uh, the, 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 fundraising, clarify. the fundraising is where she was saying that um, the, 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 the leader of the church must tell the congregation that now we are putting on the project. Okay. Before you speak for Bridget, allow Bridget to come in herself. 
Really, is that what you call a fundraising? Do you agree with the fundraising? What is fundraising to you? So, uh, I have to correct them. Okay. I didn't say I accept only uh, the free will. Okay. I accept only the positive tenth. You, you accept the tenth. But not in the church directly on Sunday. You mm -hmm. see, I have another system, and we have another system in Europe and in Germany, especially. Well, what is that system? Tell us okay. about it. You see, uh, people work. The most people. They work. They work in companies. Okay. We are paying tax. Tax directly is to the government. directly is directly uh, taken from your income. Uh -huh. You don't see it anymore. Because you are you are um, you are a member of the church. Uh -huh. You are going to church. Maybe you are not going to church, but you are a member of the church. Okay. So they take the tenants. No, uh, really, hold on. That's tenth that you are talking about, the tax. Yeah. It is taken by the government, not by it's, the church. Uh, of course, it's, it's, it's together. You see, it's, 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 uh, they are working together. The church the and the church government church. are working together? Mm -hmm. The government is taking it, but it's given to the church. But How is it give, given to the church? Oh, Do they, you have they, any idea? Oh, the church is like a, like a company. You see, it's like a company. It's a structure. We have, we have the churches in the, in the cities. The but the churches do not take monies from the government, do they? So how is the money given to the church? Okay, the government, you see, you have a company. You see, I was working for a company. This okay. company is automatically, is, is directly taken from your income. Yes, you and, the, and the company pays it to the government. The company, uh, is, yes, it's a tax. Uh, it's maybe, I don't know really, it's directly to the church. Uh, I think it's a tax. It's, it's uh, like they are directly uh, on an account, government like the taxes, the taxes, yes, uh -huh. the taxes yes. are accounts, yes. and this tax is going to the church. Depends on the church. If you okay, so if I if I am getting you correctly, yeah. the church is depending on the facilities and the amenities of the nation, and the country, the the government is taking the money to do all these things. Yes. So. In another way, the church is also benefiting from it. Yes. But the church cannot go and take such money to build their church house. Oh, they get you see, they are like I say, churches for me are companies. Okay. okay. Churches are you see, the church normally the church are the people. Mm -hmm. But in our time, the churches are already companies like the Vatican is a company. Yes, I understand I you. I I understand you. Let me come in there. Even uh -huh. now, if I am going to register my church. Yes. I go to the Registrar General and register the name, and it's an entity. You can't do this. You see, you have you have to go to the company. I, I call it company. I don't have another word now in English. You see, you go to the, you, when you're a priest or a preacher, you have to study first. You see, you have an uh, education. Mm -hmm. You study some years about religion, about all the stuff. Before you become a pastor. Of course. Good. And there are like exams. Good. Like you are a doctor, you are a preacher. Yes. You are a doctor, you are a pastor. So, mm -hmm. um, basically, your problem has got to do with the leadership of the church and you think the leadership of the church is not passing through the right form of training is that the reason why they you think they are taking the monies unlawfully uh, this is not the reason but they're taking advantage people are taking advantage people that the, the leaders that you think are not well educated and well there is a preacher on the street or in the church room and they take um, um, really, let me ask you this question. Have you tried to match the number of people and the number of police, the ratio, the people to the police ratio? And have you compared it with the people to the pastor ratio? Have, are, you, are you not concerned that the, the, the number of pastors in the community do not actually match up the ratio? The people are supposed to be led by some leaders or their in, in the church pastors. We 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 we, we have this uh, doctrine that the people are like the the sheep of God, and they are to be led by the elected shepherd of God. Too many? Too many? Have you have you taken notice of the population of the of the? Of the world now. Do you know the number of pastors that exist in the world now? I don't have the numbers, but I see, I see, you see, when I'm coming into the church, I have, I'm heading from one church to the other. Every corner is another church. 
Okay. But Aruna, um, have you taken this? Um, have you taken your time to do this study? Have you seen the number of uh, drinking spots in Ghana? Sorry. The number of drinking spots, taverns where they drink alcohol, where they drink, they, where they sell alcohol. The number of alcohol selling points in Ghana. Have you taken notes? I don't have to number it. I see it. You, you see, see them? Are they not too many? Are they not more than the churches? Of course. And there, course. and the number but, of. But what is the alcohol has nothing to do with the church now. You see, I'm talking about the preacher. Now I, I can see that the, the problem you are having with is with the, the leadership of the church. Number one, you think the leadership of the church is not being well treated. Is that right? First, you see, you have to begin with the education. 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 So that, that is about training, right? Yes, but you see, um, you can do all. In Ghana, it's like a lot for me. Like lawless land, lawless country. Sometimes it's like that. Even like the people behave on the street. You can do whatever you want to do. Even you can sell stuff on the street. I ask also, also like vendors, but are you reporting your income? No. <laughs> you understand? All my money so, is for me. So, so yes, brilliant. We are talking about the church, but yeah. so if I understand you, everybody is opening a church. If you understand you, it's about the regulation of the people. It's a the regulation, the, the churches, the, the, the pastors are not being regulated, yes. and they are too many, yes. and they are not being, a, they don't, not receiving the right training. Yes. And you are concerned that, for instance, they, they are supposed to be trained like how doctors are trained, and they, they are supposed to be certified, right? They have to be controlled and certified. But, but do you know that churches, uh, pastors are certified? Uh, I don't think so. They are. Every 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 good pastor yeah, should have yeah. a certificate yes, or a license. Yes, but I have a license. Yes, I, I have to renew it every two years. How do you define fake pastors? Okay. Uh, I'm heading to my son into a church. Okay. Was it's good that you don't mention any name now. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. And this prophet has five boys and they call themselves prophets. They don't have any education. Apart from the main prophet, there are five other prophets. But they are young, young boys, when they don't speak English. Yes, they only repeat what he is saying. And but the main pastor is saying. Only rebel doing noise. Uh, mm -hmm. All about noise in churches. Mm -hmm. Another point. Um, not even doing the gospel, but repeating all about money. Only you see half of the, you see, it was not in, in this one. Mm. Every time I hear only about money, it's like you see for me it's a brainwashing. Mm -hmm. They take out particular parts of the of the Bible. But, but, um, Bridget, if I if, let me come in, I, I, I Apostle wants to say something, but let me come in. Apostle wants to say something, but let me come in. Yeah. So the main problem that you have, number one, has yeah. got to do with. Regulation and then number two has got to do with not receiving the right training, yeah. and then the third thing is about the ethics. They are taking advantage. They, their practices. Yes. Their yes. practices are wrong. Yes. And, and they are taking can... advantage of the of the community. Yes. The yes. poor in the community. Yes. And they are taking about money from them. About women. I about can women. Tell you a story. I will tell you a story. Yes. It Hold on. Before you tell your story, let me go to Apostle. Apostle. There, there are a lot of. I know a certain man. He was my tenant. He has some boys that they stand along the streets, then with uh, machines and with machines. Then at the end of the day, then we bring their money. So they I see they are doing sales. They, 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 they are doing sales. So they come and account to the man, the money that they have got, so that the man also will give them their share. They understand? So I agree with that. There are some men of God in even in the house of God they have a different agenda they, they, they have a church building that they have many people sitting under them but i'm telling you they don't come from god well um, coming from god is another thing but taking money unlawfully is another thing mm -hmm. um Bridget, you said you had a story you wanted to tell what, what can what is it uh, i have small stories but i will start with one story okay okay, okay. Last story, is it uh, an experience you I, had? Oh yeah, of course. Okay. So I had it to a special church. I was sitting there and I was listening to him that he is just uh yes, he was just with with some women, you see, one woman after the other came. That is counseling. 
and he was just touching down the bed. He see like a problem, passing out the bad okay. spirits, okay. with the oil in the face, and okay. pushing them through the deliverance. room. Deliverance. And all this. I don't believe. Okay. I don't okay. believe. This. Okay. okay. And he was like, okay. I said, okay. And he was shouting, and the, the whole church was like, oh, God, this is not the church. Hey, let me come in no. there. You when you went there, yeah. you saw the man casting out demons. Yes, like. Or oh, let me let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Acting as if he's casting out demons yes. because you didn't see any demon go out. Oh, oh. But uh, you saw the women. He was putting his hand on them. They were falling down. I'm not falling down. He was pushing them. Like, he, he was pushing them around. They were like, oh, okay, but okay. it was not real. But for me, it was not real. And even his boy, but I knew later it was his boy he was acting like he was doing something like that oh, okay. he belongs to the church and the people don't know but at, at the end of the day i was with them privately and he was a member of this group this oh group. okay and he was really for me it was an act so the boy was among the people that were being delivered yes, yes, yes. so he acted as if he's a congregation yes. part of the congregation yes. but later on you saw that he was part of the, yeah, the group, of this group of this okay class. Okay. Yeah. And, then, and, and at the end of the day, did they take money from the people? Yeah, of course. He asked them about the money. Did he ask did he them not? to give or he, did, he, did he took? There, there, is, there are two ways. Uh -huh. You see, when you go to any church yeah. and after the service, you decide to give something out of your free will. Yes, you cannot right. say that that is robbery, is it? No, no, no. It's not robbery, no. But to tell them you have a problem and you see, oh, I see you have a big belly, yeah, uh -huh, I will deliver you, and please, I heard it a lot of time, two years ago already, give me money and I will, will pray for you. Mm -hmm. They did it to me, and even this pastor, or this Somebody has died to you before. Of course, give me money and let me pray yes, for you. And yes. you gave the money? No, I said, no, thank you, sir, I can pray for myself. And the okay. Lord me already, so okay. please don't do that. Okay, so in your own mind, yes. you think, number one, you raise it, hey, 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 an, an issue right now. That form of deliverance and the fact that pastors can put their hands on people yeah. and cast out demons yeah. and heal them of diseases yeah. is not real. I tell you why. Well, you okay, 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 you tell me why, but yes. answer me. You think it's not real? Uh, it may it can be real, but not all are doing this real. Okay, okay, now, okay. now I understand you. So, some people can do it when they have the genuine power of God. Yes, I think so. Yes, but not everybody. Not everybody. Some, some people are thinking it, that's what you mean. Yes. Okay, okay, now, now you have cleared my mind. Now, and then also you think the people who are faking it, yeah. they are faking it because they want to take money from people. That is the main reason why they are faking it, right? Yes. And then there are other people. So what about those who can do it genuinely? I don't experience this. Okay, you've not experienced it before. No, I, I will agree with you. If you've not experienced it, and that's based on that, you don't believe it is there. I will agree with you. But let me let me ask you this question. Yeah. Currently, currently, do you think that all the churches in Ghana are corrupt? No, not all. You think some of them are corrupt? Uh, most, I think, mostly the one heading to. Special churches in, and I told you, the United States of America, the Pentecost, or in the United Kingdom, there are the big bosses sitting in their big chairs. So, how do you see them? For me, they are money makers. Pentecost? Yes. Uh, which one again? Methodist? Uh, Methodist, all these churches. Yes. All the churches, you they are all money makers. Yes, but I know them. You, I so, know so I know the calling them money makers do not make them evil, does it? No, it's you see. I know why they are rich. I know why they are this rich. But but it is it is an inheritance of any son of God to be rich. No, it's not the way. You God are. created all human yes. beings to 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 be wealthy. Yes, yes, of course, but not from the money from the people and not uh, you see. I was. So thinking. you think the churches should be farming and doing their yes. own work? Yes. And that should I be their source it. of income. As a, Source of income is not the church. You see, the gospel is for free. But do you do you agree that the church should also accept the offering of the people and the the the, the blessings from the people to enrich the church? Uh, he just read a, 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 a he just read a passage from Malachi that yes. was telling the people to bring offerings and tithes yes. to yes. the church so that the church will be filled with meat. But who is for the church? The church is the is the body of Christ. Yeah, or who is this? 
These are the people, the people of the community, the people. But of the church. Wait, let me. I was about to come to yeah. that. You uh, you have a problem with the, the leaders of the church. Yes. Do you know that for you to be a, a full time pastor, you would have to be paid and you would have to be taken yes, care by, of by the government. No, not by the government. But, but there are some churches in Ghana yeah. that are that that are not. Let me say, all the churches in Ghana cannot do not rely on the on the on the government. The church cannot go and tell the government that look, the, at the end of the month you have to come and pay our workers. Oh my, oh my, not the government directly. The church and the government they are playing. They are doing together. You see. The oh, you mean the church is an association? Yes. On its own. The, yes, on its own. <laughs> yes. But it's the government taking control. You see, they're controlling the churches. Okay, so for instance, if we are to take um, one particular church, like yes. the Catholic Church, yes. you have a government which is based in Vatican, right? Yes. And then you have um, sub bodies spread throughout yes. the world. Yes. So at the end of the month, the monies and everything should be dispensed from Vatican to pay all the workers. Is that what you are saying? Yes, uh, you can take it from the top, you can take it from the bottom. Okay, so let's say for instance, the Ghanaian body have, yeah. um, I, I believe that is how the most of the churches are run. Yes. The churches pay their, their, their workers. Yes. But the church is also a body that relies on internal generated funds. Like yes. ch some churches have businesses that are run yes. by the church. And they also have to rely on the offerings of the people yes. to, to do this. But this is a small, small money is from the people directly. Okay, from Apostle. The, from the government, from the, you see, from the income. So, so you think according to that regulation, pastors are supposed to be regulated by the government? It's like a teacher, you see, they are, they are like, like, like employers, like from the church, but the church has to be controlled by the government. Okay, 